Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at two ways to automatically set equal column width in Power BI matrix visuals, one with DAX and one slightly less efficient but interesting way using formatting. So what's the issue? Well, in order to actually set matrix visual width, if we take this simple matrix that I have showing sales by a product over a certain amount of years, we have to manually do it um, by dragging, which obviously if we have many columns and these columns are gonna grow, that's not an efficient way to work. Um, and there's no native way to sort of set it dependent on, on different variables. So we could go into the column headers and the only option we really have is to auto size width, which all it does is it auto sizes as per the values that we have. So obviously 3,900 is going to stretch the column further than 773. The issue there is that potentially we want to, to have the column width wider and standardized across each column. So we're gonna look at some workarounds we can use to, to get to that stage. So the first solution is to use the RAPT DAX function. Um, so if we look into the Microsoft documentation, we can see that it repeats text a given number of times. So it fills a cell with a number of instances of a text string. So the syntax is fairly simple. We use the RAPT, then parenthesis, and the value we want to use in the repeat number of times. So you can see here in the example, we have 85, which is gonna repeat three times. So it'll give us those six numbers um, as a width, so the width of that string. So let's look at how we can actually implement this and use it as a workaround to, to increase our column width and make it standard. So we can create a new measure. I've just got a mock measure table set up here. I'll delete that dummy measure table column. Um, but we can call our measure fixed column width or DAX measure. And what we can do is use the REPT. Um, I'm gonna give it the text to zero to have a nice standard width. Now I could repeat it 10 times or you know you can, I could put zero zero and repeat that five times either way. It's gonna do the same thing and give us a text string that's equal to 10 zeros. So that's sorted. Now it's not as simple as just dragging it into our matrix unfortunately. There's there's a few things that we need to configure first um, and, and I'll explain to why as to why these are important. So we need to ensure that auto size width is set to on because when we pull in this fixed column width we want it to auto size like it's doing with the current values and we also want to ensure that text wrap or you might see it used as word wrap in excel that is also set to off now i'm using the new format pane um so if you're using the old one things may look slightly different but but you should be able to get to the right place and you can use the search bar like i am so once we have that correctly configured, the other thing we'll need to ensure is that we have our values set to rows so that when we pull this in, it's gonna appear like I have. So this fixed column width, the value appears on the row underneath the sales value. It's not appearing alongside it. Again, you can access that within the formatting. So, here we go we've we've stretched out the column as we would have expected now i'm just going to show you as well um within the values you can you need to ensure that switch value to rows is on for this to actually actually work and take effect so now what we need to do um in order to configure this and just be left with our values we turn off auto size width because we don't want it to snap back to the size of the sales values when we remove this fixed column width measure. And now when we remove this from our matrix visual, you'll see that everything is as expected. May, which was previously a much smaller column, is the same size as January and so on. So we now have a standardized even size. And once you get used to doing this, it's a lot quicker than manually having to adjust things. And you'll see if we were to turn auto size width back on, that is just going to, um, realign everything to the sales value which isn't isn't what we want to happen 
So let's move on to solution two. We can actually adjust the value using the, the field formatting and the column formatting rather than actually having to go in and use DAX. So again, you need to ensure that auto size width is set to on. Um, we can we can look at an, an alternative solution here. So what we can do is we can go into our values and we can see that sales is the figure that's reflected in values. So if we find that in the relevant table in invoices, we can change this format. Now it's not immediately clear how to do this, um, but you just actually need to start typing in. And I'm just gonna type in, I believe it's 10 zeros here. Um, and what we can do is we can see that this stretches into sort of the length of 10 zeros within the formatting. We do have our original numbers there, but it should make up the same width of text string. So now what I can do is I can go in as before. I can remove the auto size width. Again, we don't want it to snap back when we reconfigure our formatting. So I can set that to off. And what I need to do here, again, is select the relevant column from our table. So I'll go back to sales, select that, and I can change the format back to decimal number. I will need to reconfigure it slightly because it's given it to two decimal places. I'll take it back to zero as it was before. And as you'll see now, here's a sort of no code, no DAX measure way, um, slightly more long-winded, but if you're more comfortable with this, you can do it this way to, to ensure equal spacing between our columns and within our columns. So as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.